I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes today just talking about how you can use virtual agents to do basically anything virtually. Inference optimizes your live agents with Five9 with a digital workforce. You may have heard a bit about Inference before. Uh, we were a partner for about 18 months prior to being acquired by Five9 uh, back in November 2020. So we've been uh, in the family for just on a couple of months. We're probably best known out in the market for our Inference Studio platform. It's now rebranded as Five9 Inference Studio. Uh, essentially, it's a service creation environment for building uh, any type of intelligent virtual agent interaction across really any channel. Uh, we have hundreds of deployments out there in the field. I think at last count, well over 500 customers uh, using the platform on a daily basis. And uh, the other reason you may have heard of us is the platform has won quite a lot of awards over the last uh, 18 to 24 months. In fact, our most recent award was only last week where we did a joint award with Five9 and Jonathan's team with Agent Assist. Uh, we won the big innovation award for Five9 Inference Studio as well as for Agent Assist. Uh, as you might expect, being a partner prior to being acquired by Five9, there are already quite a few deployments out there in the field. And shown here on the screen are just a few of the more recent logos, people like Quest X, Chick-fil-A, Healthcare Advantage, Wyndham Hotels, and IQVIA are all using uh, the Five9 Inference Studio today. So if you are new to IVA technology, I always encourage people to kind of think about them in a similar way to a human agent in a contact center. If you were out hiring a human agent to work inside your contact center, you'd be looking for specific skills, you know, what languages they, they need to speak, uh, what type of systems they need to be able to work with, and so on. And that's exactly the same with IVA technology. In terms of skills with IVA, you're talking about products like Amazon Lex, IBM Watson, Dialogflow, and so on. These all underpin the IVAs and give them their capabilities. So you can have these IVAs do things for you. What types of things? Well, payments, tracking, purchasing, routing, collections, pretty much anything you can think of doing with a human agent, you can now do with an intelligent virtual agent if you wish. And much like a human agent, you pay for them in a similar way. It's a per virtual agent per month model. So imagine working in sort of a BPO type organization. They can ask you how many agents you need to handle your customer care workload. It's exactly the same sort of math when thinking about virtual agents. Virtual agents learn from what they do. So they basically learn from the experience and, and conversations they have with the uh, customers that they're dealing with using artificial intelligence, which is obviously a big theme here at the SKO this year. And importantly, they work hand in glove with your live agents in Five9. So everything a virtual agent uh, engages with and learns, it can pass through in the same interaction with a, uh, a human agent uh, in VCC. And with that, I will switch out to an actual uh, demonstration of me talking to a virtual agent experience live in Five9 Inference Studio. Okay, so let's start talking to a virtual agent. So imagine that I'm a customer and uh, I've just changed address and I would like to ring into a company and update our address in the system. And just notice as we go through this demonstration, the way in which I can kind of talk to the intelligent virtual agent, it's quite natural. Uh, I can ask it uh, questions, I can provide multiple pieces of information. Uh, if it doesn't know what it needs to know, it'll ask me those questions in response. Let's give it a, a, a go. Hello and welcome to Five9. How can I help? Are you some sort of a chatbot system? I am an intelligent virtual agent, similar to a chatbot. I am here to help. What can I do for you? So my office recently um, moved down the road, so I need to update the address you have for us in your system. So that I can look up your current address, please tell me your customer number. Yes, our customer number is 123. 123. Hi, Callan Shebella. The address we currently have in our system is 4000 Executive Parkway, Suite 400, San Ramon, California, 94583. And what is your new mailing address? So our new address is 3001 Bishop Drive, Suite 350. And what is the city? 
It's in uh, San Ramon, uh, California, 94583. I have your new address as 3001 Bishop Drive Suite 350, San Ramon, California, 94583. Did I get that right? Yes, that's right. Updating your address now. Please hold. The change is complete. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help with? So I think maybe the um, bill that you sent most recently might have still gone to that old address. So could I speak to somebody about perhaps getting another copy of that? Please hold and I will transfer you. Okay, so what you can see there is that uh, we changed our address in the system. And then I had another inquiry. In this case, the virtual agent uh, knew that it had to take me to a human agent to help. And so it transferred me over to the human agent. And it will do that with the full context of the interaction that we had um, with the virtual agent. So you won't have to repeat yourself and all of that sort of stuff. <laughs>